Right, um, I'm going to do a combination in this tutorial of working between Maya and Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, um, just say, a polygon um, sphere. I'm just going to move it slightly over so that I, you can see it while I'm working in the, uh, in the hypershade. So I'm going to open up the rendering hypershade here. Window, it's easier to work like this when you're doing this um, exercise. So let's have a look. I'm going to actually bring, give it um, a fong. So bring in a fong, fong, and then I'm going to select the object, middle mouse button, and assign it to it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, open up a PSD network file. So if you can, you can see here we have the PSD, we have the network, that's the texture. We have the file that it's looking for and then it's going to go on to the phone. So I'm just going to middle mouse and add it to the phone and I'm going to hit colour. So at the moment we've got no texture on it yet. We've brought no file in. But what we're going to do is we're going to work between Photoshop and um, Maya. So I'm going to select your select your object, which happens to be my mine happens to be a sphere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to expo export the selection. And then we're going to have it, it's going to export it um, into, I want it into the images folder. So I'm going into the images folder and I'm just going to call this ball X. I've already tried one this morning, was um, ball one. So here, I'm, make, make sure it's exported as an object, export. So export your selection and then go into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you want a new file. So make a new file. Make it um, the pixels quite um, high. So we've got 1024 by 1024 at the moment. Square, open that up. Resolution is OK. And I can call this um, B2. OK, so a new Photoshop file should open up. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the 3D section and open new layer from a 3D file. So you're going to bring in ball X, the object file. And you're going to bring that into Photoshop from the images folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click the rotate tool and the camera rotate tool. So we're going to move around this ball. Don't notice any difference. So let's go into um, the brush and I'm going to paint it a little bit. And then I'm going to swivel it around. I'll get some blue or turquoise, something, something beautiful. Um, and then I'm going to swivel it around again. The back. And I'm just going to get my brush. And then I'm going to put some blue on it. Lovely. Then what, but what I really want you to have a look at is this. Yeah. You double click on that you'll see that that's a grid it's a flattened version of this i'm not going to put the wireframe on because you can show the uvs but if you do show the uvs you'll see them on the texture when you bring it into photoshop uh, back into maya so i'm going to go back in here keep it as it is do another color so you know how to do it if you want but i'm not going to spend more time on that just now i'm just going to show you the process so what I'm going to do is you go into 3D and you export the 3D layer. Now, this Fong default, well, I shouldn't tell you that, but looking down here at the bottom right hand, bottom right hand side, you'll see Fong 1SD, 1SG default shading. That's what you're going to look for when you import it into Maya. So we'll call it Ball 2. Make sure that it's a wave front object and it's going into the images folder. Back to that save okay so this is the one from 1sg i'm going in here i'm going to look for the image the file texture file that we're going to wrap onto this ball and um, don't go into short source for images we're into the images folder that's where we're looking for it and there's that fong 1sg default texture that's the one that you'll use to wrap around its Photoshop file open. And there it goes. A wee bit confusing because it's not the actual Photoshop file that you that you put on it. It's the 3D that you export out. 
and it's look here you'll see where it is it's this one here the network PSD it's a long PSD um, layer group that you're actually wrapping around when you come back in here so to say if I go back in there I want to make some changes on it I go back into Photoshop I go back into either here if I want I can go in there and work um I've got my brush got my brush change this gonna make it pink lovely and then I go here lots of lovely pink with it and then you go back in here it should update in there hopefully yeah and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um export it again export it again and so it'll ask for this this uh naming convention go back into wavefront object it's going to give you another um bong 1sg default texture so save that okay go in here go into the file loader and then you can you have to go back into here and then it's the next one so there's it'll rename it zero zero it'll give it automatically in here open it up there's a lovely pink so you can work between Photoshop and um, Maya which is very useful when you want to just paint freely and and um, update quite quickly without having to do the UV flat texture if I go in here and I go in here and I go into this one and then I go here 3d and create UVs there's your wireframe um, and then I go back in here you'll you'll see the wireframe goes on the object then if I export that one out just say just leave it as it is or make sure it's a wavefront save replace okay go in here this one and then I'll go in here there's zero one open there goes the wireframe if you want the wireframe that's what you want that's fine if you don't want it just don't click it in Photoshop I hope this helps do a couple of trials of your own you'll see with the square when you put the wireframe it'll come out as a box on the um, in Photoshop then you'll get corners if you want them I um, hope this helps try out some of your own